It's recording. Mind Ascension, Mind Ascension. As y'all know, we back for another installment. And um, I'm here with my brother, man. One of, one of my law students. <laughs> I have to call him that. One of my law students. But um, it's brother, as usual, everything is never on a specific organized, um, how would you say, regimen of how we're going to speak. You know, I like to do things random so we can tap into the subconscious mind and we can get answers directly from the subconscious mind. So you know that these aren't things that are set up for me to say. I'm not, I don't already have a pre, you know, requisite, a, a pre type of how I'm going to say something, or why I'm going to say it or whatever. So, right. you know, brother, let's start. What's on your mind? Let's get to it. Okay. So, um... Just a while ago, we was uh, getting into the topic about fasting, yeah, and how you you can go like days without eating or drinking, and you still have ample energy. Mm -hmm. And you were saying how you were saying a lot of things that caught my attention. Like you said that real fasting doesn't start until after three days. And like some people have all these fake terms of fasting yeah. that's not real fasting, mm -hmm. and then you also said that um that you know you still got energy, and I'm curious like some people they they go days without uh, eating, yes, yes, and then they get skinny, yes. you know, and I'm, I'm I, I know, know where you're getting to. Let's make this let's let's crunch as much information as we can now. What I wanted to say when we were speaking, and I'm glad that we saved that for the video, is the fact that. Not only food okay. is a substance for the body to accumulate energy or mass. What I mean is, perfect example, some of y'all out there, y'all are aware of a great teacher named Bobby Hemmett. Great metaphysical and occult teacher. If y'all notice, Bobby Hemmett is a pretty heavy brother, okay? He's not slim, he's not skinny, he's not thick. He's a very heavy brother. Mm. Now, I bring that up to bring up the fact that I'm positive Bobby Hemming ain't sitting at a buffet every day and just stuffing his face from sun up to sundown. Right. Um, I also say this to say that we have to understand that when you consume any form of substance, it can equate or accumulate to a form of physical mass. Now, what do I mean by that? Knowledge and information is a substance. And this is an excellent category because I've never heard anybody really speak about this. Information and the constant accumulation and retaining of information can add up to expansion of physical mass. It's possible. Now, me, myself, people will look at me and I tell them that I eat one meal a day or um, I fast a lot of time. They'll be like, well, you're not skinny. And, you know, how, how are you so thick? And da, da, da. Right. But at the end of the day, guess what? I eat knowledge constantly. Right. I wake up, eat knowledge. I, 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 12, 10 hours a day, I either got lectures in my ear or I got books. You know, as you see upstairs, books is piled up. You know what I'm saying? So the point I'm making is food doesn't necessarily give your body anything. Mm. If you want to really talk about what food is doing, it's stimulating what your body already possesses to a certain extent. A substance is a form of mass no matter how low in density it might be. Air is a substance. It might not have a so-called, oh, well, actually air does have weight because I can fill a balloon with air to a certain amount and it will have a small, small, insignificant fraction of a fraction that you can see on the scale. But the point of the matter is any form of substance can accumulate to an expansion of mass. And information is a substance. And this is why, if this wasn't true, I'll prove it in a certain way right now. Have you ever studied so much, you feel like you can't hold any more information? You ever read a book or, or read books or, 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 or studied a specific subject that you felt you didn't have any more room in your head for, whatever the case is? This is the proof that information is a form of substance that can be accumulated to an extent to where you need a break or it needs to dissipate to a certain extent, for mm -hmm. lack of better words. So what I'm saying is, 
for the people out there that hear about fasting or being vegan or vegetarian and the first thing they say to you is, I don't want to get bony, I don't want to lose weight, oh, I'm going to get so skinny, blah, 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 blah. Right. We got to also remember that mind is all number one. Right. So if you equate a certain form of diet with being skinny or being fat, then you are creating or will attract that reality within your own body and reality to a certain extent. Mm. Now, um, once again, using myself, I've been so-called vegetarian for like almost 10 years, about eight, almost 10 years now. And I barely lost any real weight. You know, I was a little bit bigger before, but it wasn't a significant amount of weight. Mm. Not only that, to this very day, for maybe over a, a year now, I don't eat three meals a day. I haven't ate three meals a day for an extremely long time. Mm. And once again, I haven't lost a significant amount of weight. But what I do do is every single day I am consuming large amounts of information. You see what I'm saying? So to answer your question, on a metaphysical side and a metaphysical aspect, many things that we don't look at have substance and therefore can accumulate to mass. And we don't understand that food is the result of a fall okay. because at a higher state of your existence, you did not need to chew and swallow and eat and shit and piss and all of this bullshit. Okay. You are an etheric being with a solar plexus and an inner sun that radiates energy constantly. You are a walking battery period. And this is why people will actually use you as a form of energy. You see what I'm saying? Your body never stops working. Why? Where is it getting the energy from to do so? Whether you're in a coma, whether you're sleeping, your blood is running through your entire body, circulating from each toe all the way to the top of your head. Your heartbeat is never stopping. Things inside your body are never stopping. Where does this energy come from? A hamburger? Where does this energy come from? You see what I'm saying? So the point of the matter is you are energy within yourself. You are a walking inner sun. You are a battery within yourself. And your mind is all above all physical material and matter. This is why you're able to create or manifest physical things instead of just physical labor to get to a physical aspect, which once again is a result of our fall. So um, on that subject, yes, there's people out there that are so sick. They need to take in outside substances to get themselves back to a normal level. But what I'm referring to is people that are already on a certain level of normal indigenous human existence understand that less is more. Okay? If food gave you energy, then that means after I would eat a buffet, I would be able to run a marathon. But after I eat a buffet, I'm taking my motherfucking ass to sleep. Okay? <laughs> So let's cut that ass shit out. Food do not give you energy. It ain't stimulating shit, all right? And you already have certain specific chemicals, compounds, um, amino acids, um, vitamins in your body as we speak already that if you want to say food is doing something, all it's doing is stimulating what you already have. Right. So, um, you know, I, I hope that answered that question with that, man. But yeah, yeah um, let's, let's, let's go on. Yeah, so you was on. Um, we was we was also talking about how uh, in a in a conscious community, because you you say you don't hear a lot of people saying certain things that you say, and I you say a lot of shit, man. Yeah, I, hear, I hear my my concern with the current state in this current ever in existence of knowledge of self right. and conscious community is a lot of regurgitation of the same conscious pan-African so-and-so rhetoric. Mm. We keep speaking about schools forgetting that the first school is at home. Right. Okay? To be in right now is a situation of teaching of teacher and student or form of school. Mm. Right now as we speak. We don't need to have desks. We don't need to have special books and, and little pencils or, or fucking laptops or whatever the fuck for this to be a learning center. You can create your own learning center without permission, without paperwork, without anything. That's another thing. That's another thing that bothers me about today. We feel we need validation and we feel we need paperwork for everything. By all means, you want to follow the legal aspect for getting that 
everything that they term or title legal in the past has been at your own demise. Slavery was legal. At one time, rape was legal. At one time, pedophilia was legal. And it's about to be legal again. But the fact of the matter is, fuck what's legal. Fuck the paperwork aspect. Now, by all means of respect, when you want to hit a larger perspective and you got to follow the rules of the society, I understand that. But to start it takes nothing but your own effort. Now, as far as what I hear today in the, in the, in the same regurgitated rhetoric, we need unity. We need black dollars. We need black politicians. We need to change the system. All of this regurgitated rhetoric has been said over and over again the past few decades with no significant change. Why? Because you're using the same system to try to fix something that it wasn't meant to fix or what? Because it's not broken. (laughs) It's broken for you because it's not for you. So there's nothing wrong with the system. The system works perfectly if you you really want to be technical. But I, I don't hear the fact that it is the opposite that achieves opposite results. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So, fuck unity. I want divinity. I don't want to unify with another dumbass Negro who thinks the only place on this planet he came from was either Africa or the only place he belongs is Africa. Mm. Okay? I respect Pan-Africans, but at the end of the day, we own the motherfucking planet. Mm. And I ain't trying to jump into on, on the more side, because Fuck y'all niggas too. <laughs> because we ain't just from America either, nigga. Right. We beyond this earth. We older than the planet. Uh-huh. So what I'm saying is we have ran the same the same black pan-African yada yada we need this rhetoric into the fucking ground. Now it's time for another level of teaching and expression that deals with pure divinity, manifestation, that deals with God-like mindsets, that deals with being scientists, that deals with occultism, that deals with pure metaphysics. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I hear the same stuff over and over and over. And at the end of the day, it is the opposite that gets opposite results. Mm. So, fuck being a vegan and being human. Mm. I'm going to be a fucking god. So you know what I do? I do what humans are told not to do. Right. We just talked earlier about water. Right, and about right, right. um and I explained to you how the same way I don't eat during the day, I also don't drink during the day. I don't drink water, I don't drink juice, I don't I don't do any of that stuff. Yeah. Now I'm not telling y'all to do this because I know a lot of times what we do is really based on how we feel and based on the fact that these things are forms of therapy to us in our mind, in our body. Mm. But the fact of the matter is if I'm going to claim to be a divine being or God, then I must understand that a God don't need a motherfucking a goddamn veggie shake. A God don't need fruit juice. A God don't need a kale and tofu dish. You understand? So when I eat, I eat for ceremony, offering, and ritual. I don't eat for nutrition. That's an illusion. Mm. The atoms and cells in your body does not need a motherfucking veggie burger. Mm. You see what I'm saying? The, The things that constitute and coalesce into physical matter that make up the structures and foundation of our physical reality don't need food. They are a form of consciousness that already exists, stepping down into different densities, creating different levels of dimensions, which we all live upon and begin to participate in certain actions and activity that make us stuck in those physical dimensions. And in this third physical dimension, we're stuck in this dimension because we're trying to be more human. Mm. We have mastered humanity on this level of earth and planet for the last two billion years. I don't want to be human anymore. We mastered this shit. I want to be at a level of divine being, and I'm here to get you to that level, to activate something inside you. Stop making shit a fucking religion. I don't give a fuck if the lemon is a hybrid. I don't give a fuck if the cheese is acidic, whatever the fuck it is. I respect that science. But once my focus goes into the fact that I think that that lemon or that cheese is going to hurt me, then guess what I just did? I just made that substance, which is nothing but atoms, more powerful than me. So now it becomes a form of my devil or a form of monster to my existence. And I know I'm God. So a piece of cheese ain't going to kill me and a motherfucking lemon ain't going to kill me either. Now, am I retarded? Am I going to 
um, exert my body, stuff in my body full of cheese and pizza. No, I'm not because I also know as a God, less is more and that the more I eat, the more I physically get stuck in this physical existence and dimension. Mm -hmm. And this goes into the ego as well, which is the mental side of it because a lot of us are slaves to our ego, which makes us slaves to the physical dimension in itself. Mm. So we need to start practicing manifestation. We need to start practicing occultism. Mm. We need to start practicing rituals and get ourselves. And by the way, these things are only forms of tools to get you to a higher level of not needing them in any way. So when you start out um, creating your altars and practicing uh, ritualistic aspects, practicing voodoo or different forms of uh, uh, following Orisha um, societies and all these different things. Remember, these are levels for you to utilize to get you to higher levels, not for you to stay in and turn into another fucking religion. Mm. All right. So you utilize symbolism and physical aspects and elements in order to condition your subconscious in order to make you believe something to create your own reality. Once you see... The level I'm at right now without needing to eat, without needing water and any of that stuff was a process I had to condition myself to do. Now that I'm at this point, there's no desire within my existence for any of that shit. Right. So therefore, I've lost this need to... <laughs> I've, lost this, I've lost this need to feel... As if I'm losing or threatening my physical existence because I know that I'm beyond the physical. So right. therefore, the physical does not dictate or govern or control my reality and my existence. Right. And it's by all means, this is a process, but we have to start somewhere. And I don't see any of us starting anywhere. I see a, I see a lot of us changing to different religions right. and we're substituting one religion for another. Right. Um, Wait, hold on. Can I stop them real quick? Uh, you can. You're, <laughs> My fault. 